Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. So this is uh, Sunday night's new uh, BBC World drama. Stars uh, Eddie... Uh, Marden. Eddie... Anyway. It's Marzen. not Marden. Marzen. He still can't do it. Marzen. <laughs> uh, uh, and Bertie... Eddie Little. Eddie Large. <laughs> playing the aforementioned Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. They're two uh, magicians living in the 17th century, I want to say. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah maybe the 18th. It's around sure. pole dark times, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I was uh, the Napoleonic War time, whenever that was. Oh, that's eighteen. That's early 1800s. Yeah, so right. 19th century then. Yeah. Mr. Norrell, played by Eddie Marsden, who's this practic- practicing magician. He's got lots of books. He's very sort of serious with it. He wants to use his magic to help out with the war, but a lot of people obviously are sceptical of this. Uh, and then you've got uh, Jonathan Strange, who's played by Bertie Carvel, who's this sort of more sort of toffish guy. He he's a sort of work shy guy. He doesn't seem to commit to anything or anyone, and he sort of discovers that he's got this gift for mediocre tricks. And obviously, we'll get to. So a he's the Stephen Mulhern of the. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's the Stephen Mulhern to Eddie Marsden's Paul Daniels. Oh, um, there you go. <laughs> Uh, I thought on this, I thought uh, it is a very odd time to put it on a Sunday night. I, mean, I thought that. Yeah, there's, but again, it's. I struggle to think who it's for because you've got the magic element who you think would appeal to a family audience, a younger audience. But it, at the same time, it's very wordy, especially the start, the first 20 minutes. There was a lot of expositional scenes. There was a lot of men yes. talking in darkly lit rooms. And I think kids would get bored of that. And I know I said when we talked about Thunderbirds a couple of weeks that they were insulting kids' intelligence. But I think there's a middle ground. Uh, something like Merlin, for example, had mm. the, did the right thing. Whereas well, this, I, I... at the same time, the audience who watched Poldark, which you mentioned, I don't know if they'd be able to get into this because of the magic thing, especially at the end when Mark Warren popped up looking like David Berry from Labyrinth. Yeah, that was very <laughs> <laughs> very weird overall i quite liked this and i have series linked it and will was i'm intrigued to watch the next episode but i do mm-hmm. agree I, the time slot confused me the day confused me possibly the, you might aim for like the doctor who market because the magic did feel mm. very much like from a, a, a who universe you know it was the stone um sort of figures in a in a in a, in a big huge uh, church coming to life which had was yeah, very but i i don't the, think the, the pacing poo. was there for like no, no just, you're right it was very I mean, I... stoic very especially the, i think the scenes with uh, jonathan strange were a bit like to uh, had a bit more humor to them Eddie yes. marsden's character was very humorless very yeah, he's lace. very much he's very uh, and much I know they tried man. to put like Paul K in there and there was a couple of other like the high society people they tried to make them sort of the joke and he'd be the straight man but I d- I think those scenes fell flat for me and it was only when yeah. Mark Warren turned up at the end I mean I quite I I quite liked the storyline the idea that all the magic in Yorkshire was theoretical and that were there were no books and this guy Mr Norrell had them all mm. Um, and that he said, well, look, you know, if I prove there's magic, you have to disband. I mean, I, that was quite an interesting storyline. And then he moved very quickly. Yeah, to I, London. I just think I, that, again, it took so long to get there, though. It took yeah. so long to explain everything. But I quite Did... like the idea that these are the only two magicians in the country yeah. and they don't know each other, I, but they will. And I, 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 yeah, I, I agree with you there. The series quite well. I agree with you there, but... How long did it take to get to that scene where he made everything come to life? It was a good 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm sure they could have rattled through that a lot quicker. And I think the fact that they've uh, the, got the, the seven ne- episodes to get through as well. Well, I was going to say, the next thing really is how are they going to fill out another... And, and with it being the BBC, it's an hour. It's not 42 yeah. minutes with ads. It's an hour. Um, and, and possibly you're right. It, it is one of those shows that you, tell a story yeah, every week that probably could do with ads to split it up a bit as well because it yeah. is it is quite heavy going for a show that is got uh, you know like a magical element to it.